I'm Roger Branch, uh, a native of, native of Trinidad and Tobago. I'm also a doctoral candidate in the field of international psychology. I am the director of forensic psychological services and a service partner for Converse. Uh, my company has been instrumental in uh, designing law enforcement screening protocols for several of the Caribbean islands, and we have been in business for uh, approximately 20 years. Um, myself, uh, as a Trinidadian, I, I was the first uh, polygrapher trained by the government. And after working for the government for about three years, I went out on my own and decided to form this company to increase the integrity levels of law enforcement in particular. So mainly I'm looking at screening law enforcement personnel and using a mix a protocol of polygraph testing, uh, psychometric assessment and urinalysis to select officers suitable for the different law enforcement positions while uh, weeding out the corrupt uh, elements uh, in the different uh, countries. Uh, with the new technologies that are coming along, I, I see even a, a brighter future, um, which has brought me to IDTech. Um, a few years ago, I attended a conference on polygraph, and they mentioned this uh, ocular motor technology, and I'm like, oh, this, this sounds interesting. And when I listened to the, the theory behind it, it, it resonated with, with what I've learned as a, as a master's degree psychologist. Now as a, a doctoral candidate, a PhD, the, the science behind it is sound, very sound from, from my experience and from my training as a, as a psychologist. And I think uh, using this with what we have already established in the Caribbean can really create a, a new breed of uh, credibility assessment experts. This has been an opportunity for me as a, a citizen of the region to bring a technology to a, a region that normally uh, experiences things way later, uh, an opportunity for them to become leaders in credibility assessment. I called my friend, the Commissioner of Police, um, Mr. Queeley, and I said, I have new technology that I want to use and release, um, release on your island. And he said, well, Roger, you know, you, you have been the person we have trusted for many years, and um, please feel free. When I got there and I did the test, I tested him, and he was completely sold. Not to mention I was scared at first when he did the exam, I was just hoping that he passed, and he did pass very well. He immediately said, you know, this is going to be used in several different arenas in, in his country for their their, their citizenship by uh, investment, or normally called the passport program. You can see it being used for vetting their officers, which was the first instance of it being used. They have actually set their protocol as screen with the ID tech first to weed out uh, the undesirables, and then they move on to using the polygraph test. So they have set the standard on that. Uh, after I did that first release in St. Kitts, um, Several of the other countries started to call me and say, look, Roger, you know, you do have a relationship with us also, and we like what this technology is doing. If the commissioner there can use it, um, we need to use it. So uh, the director of one of the major intelligence agencies in Antigua, Colonel Croft, said he would like to use this to ensure that the integrity of his personnel meets international standards, or as a matter of fact, supersedes international standards. Since they are using two technologies, whereas a lot of the other uh, partners they have use just the polygraph alone. So he felt this would have given him a cutting edge difference to be on the world stage as a, as a leader of integrity. Uh, with that said, um, we moved on to Barbados and we met the head of the RSS, which is the regional security system the organization that manages the security coordination of seven of the islands in the Caribbean. And Captain Shulin said, if I can send them some research on the, on the product. And uh, after reading it, he sent me an email. He said, look, I want this. I want you to train the rest of the polygraphers we have in our, in our, in our system. Uh, this is an opportunity for us to lead the rest of the world. Yes, I, myself and my wife, we have worked diligently in bringing 
credibility tools to the Caribbean. The fun that you have when you visit these islands are all dependent on the security forces, how well they keep you safe there. And I think uh, my company provides a major role in keeping uh, visitors and citizens safe in those different uh, arenas. It has given us uh, the opportunity to leave a legacy behind in the Caribbean of creating a, a new breed of professionals.